And we have sources that tell us that Saddam Hussein recently authorized Iraqi field commanders to use chemical weapons. If we told you the world was destroyed, who do you guess is responsible? I want you to destroy them! We thought it would be them. The first and obvious one is, be someplace else when it happens. We were led to believe that they were the responsible for the dismantle of life. Abroad, our brave men and women in uniform are taking the fight to Al-Qaeda wherever it exists. We've also discovered through intelligence that Iraq has a growing fleet of manned and unmanned aerial vehicles that could be used to disperse chemical or biological weapons across broad areas. 70% of the earth is covered in water. What happens when the water is spoiled? In China, a recent report has revealed that 89% of the drinking water doesn't meet the national hygiene standard. How do we react? What replacements do we have? What replacements can we offer? What if days of playing in the water stream of a fire hydrant are over? No more water parks. We become afraid to shower. What if we're unable to drink the water from our tap? Watering plants is dangerous. What if this was our fault? What if it wasn't the ominous anarchist? It was our fault. The everyday average person. What if the creations of mankind got beyond us? What if what we thought we could control ended up shaping our lives? What if we could prevent this from happening? Foreseeing a damned future? Remember how I told you I can lace an egg? Or we did nothing. When the baby grows up to be an old man, 